Alright, this here is a video to show uh, the wobble base template I made and for the ES2. This is not a video to show you how to use the ES2. Um, so, if you don't know how to use the ES2, learn that first and then you'll be able to apply this. Alright, but I've made the template, uh, I guess well, it's pretty scientific. I'm going to get into all that right now. But, um, yeah, you just pull up the uh, ES2. I got this all open already just because cause that's what will uh, manipulate the rate at which your uh, wobble will happen. And your wobbles will happen at C0. So I'm going to pull this up so you can actually see it happen when I press A. Oh, well, it's not connected yet. That's just the actual base. Um, but yeah, that's another part. I'm going to go down here in the environment. Uh, it's already set up in there. I already got everything set up to where it has the head. And it stops after that. Alright. And so... Uh, the biggest thing about that is it's going to be playing it's playing while you're actually wobbling the bass you don't want that so what you want to do is come over here to the channel with the ES2 on it and go to key limit and you want to take it from negative 2 cut out all those lows and start at 1 since since uh, that's where you're at that's where the action will be taking place. So you won't have to hear those notes. Now, now when you press it now, so you'll see the LFO, the LFO move, but you're not hearing anything. But when you press up here, and then press, You got wobble, and that's it. So I am selling the template. Uh, if you check out the other one, my chord memorizer template with all the scales and progressions and all that stuff too. I'm also selling that one. Uh, but yeah, anybody who's a fan of wobble and bass and whatnot, hit us up. Triple A Music.